What's up guys, War here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna go over how to unlock and masterwork in Diablo 4 season four because there's been a lot of questions and a lot of people asking and not really sure. I keep getting a lot of questions about, hey War, where can we upgrade our gear? And where can we do this at? Like I wanna upgrade my stuff um, and we, the old upgrading system is gone as a lot of people know and now we have massive working but the the trick is is like how do you unlock it and then how do you use it what comes with it all of these things so to unlock master working what you have to do is go complete a nightmare dungeon tier 46 or higher you have to complete tier 46 or higher and once you complete a nightmare dungeon at tier 46 You'll come over here to uh, Skazlin, and you'll come up to, uh, what is that, Saragar, to this little um, village, and you'll have the portal activator, the artifice or obelisk, and once you come in here, you will be able to unlock and start doing the pit runs, okay? Now, the pit ones do require this nice little resource that you guys see here, if I can find it. It doesn't show up on the thing. It's right over here. It's these, the rune shards. Let me move my camera for you guys. It requires the rune shards here that you get from doing nightmare dungeons, which are great. So I have 252 rune shards. It takes three to activate it at tier one. Uh, I got a tier 23. Same thing. It's still three. I think these increase as we continue to get higher, higher, and higher. I'm not sure though, but right now it's just three. These are very, very easy to get, so I wouldn't stress about the cost of actually going into room shards. Um, I wouldn't stress about the cost going into the pit, but these can be found in Whisper Caches, the Helltide, Legion Chest, and Nightmare Dungeons, and World Bosses. Again, these are very, very easy to get. Now, when you go do a pit run, you guys have the timer, right? I'm gonna go ahead and leave my party real quick just so I can kind of showcase this. I'm gonna go do a tier four and just blast. We're gonna open this thing, right? We're gonna go in and in the pit, it acts like greater rifts from Diablo three. You have a timer, okay? You have to defeat the dungeon within the time. Every single time that you die, you add 30 seconds onto this timer that is explained over here. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna run through. We're gonna blast. We're gonna do this real quick. Should not take us very long at all. We should get through this relatively easy. Uh, no items drop from the pit, which is great. It just makes it easy to fly through. It's just like how the greater rifts were in Diablo 3. Now at tier one, the monster levels are level 100. So at level 100, you should be able to do this relatively easy depending on your level, but as you continue to go higher and higher and higher, the monster levels will scale accordingly. At tier 150, that is the equivalent of the Abattoir of Zir from the previous season, uh, or in season two, I should say. And that is tier 150. So the highest level of Abattoir of Zir is tier 150 in the pit, and it continues to get harder and harder past that. So we do have a real challenge uh, in front of us. But you guys can see we're just blasting through. You have plenty of time to do these unless you keep dying, I would say. And then we're going to get some resources at the end. Okay, we're going to get some resources at the end, which is great. Some shrines can spawn in here, which are nice. It's not too bad. Just destroy everything. Just keep clearing the floors over and over and over again. I really need more attack speed on this. Once you get to the end, a red portal comes up. That is the boss's lair or the guardian's lair. Boom, we come in. It'll be a random boss from any dungeon that you guys have done in Sanctuary. Boom, done. He's going to drop two cooling wards, or at least that's what we got. We got some more uh, sigils. We got three items, then we open up the chest, and we're gonna get these items here. All right, these items here. Abducites. Um, as you increase your levels, then you will get the Ingoliaths, or Ingoliths, and then at the even higher tiers, you'll get 
the neats. I'm just going to call them neats. Now, these three are the resources that you are going to need to masterwork your items. So let's go do that now and explain how masterworking works. That's weird. Um, but we're going to explain how this works. So again, just to recap, you need to defeat a tier 46 nightmare dungeon. I ended up doing like a tier 47, I think. And that will unlock the pit, and then you can start doing the pit. So after you're done with that, you farm the pit. You got some resources. You're going to come over to the blacksmith. It will unlock. So select an Anstress Ancestral, fully tempered, legendary, or ancestral or unique item uh, to improve the affixes of. So what that means is, is that you need to take an item that is tempered. You cannot do this with items that are not tempered as you see here. See how this item's grayed out? I have not tempered it. So you have to temper the item like this weapon here, okay? So for the demonstration purposes, I'm gonna use my raiments of the, in, of the infinite. So we put this in, we're gonna increase all affixes by five. You're gonna see our cost here. It takes 10 of the uh, abducites, the uh i'm probably still butchering that uh 10 of the raw hides and three of the veal crystals so this is relatively cheap in the earlier stages so we're going to upgrade once and it increases everything by five percent now we're going to go to rank two boom again we're going to go and get this right now once we get to rank four it's going to pick one of our affixes at random and increase that one all by itself, not the other ones, by 25%. So at ranks four, eight, and 12, this will increase at random one of the affixes by 25%. The ranks in between, everything goes up by 5%. So you have a chance to really target a particular affix and make it incredibly powerful. Now, the great thing about masterworking is, is that we have this little reset masterwork ranks. Okay. So we're at rank two out of 12 and we can reset this to one and start the entire process all over again. If you're at 12 out of 12, you can reset an item and do it all over again. However, you will lose all of the resources that you have put into it. You do not get any back. So if we reset, it's going to cost 5 million gold to reset, 30 rawhides, 20 veiled crystals, and 5 forgotten souls. I'm not going to reset this because I don't want to lose five, uh, 5 million gold because we're only at rank 2. So I, I am going to be upgrading this one. But you can do this at any point. Now, from what I understand, the material cost will increase the higher ranks that you have it. But once we got a 12, I'll kind of add to that in the comment section below this video. But you can reset this anytime you want. So you just have to keep upgrading. Now, the different material stages. So the blue ones or the magic ones go up to tier four. So four out of 12. The next ones, so from five to eight or five to, yeah, five to eight, you're using the rare ones and then from 9 to 12, you use the legendary ones. So keep that in mind when you're trying to start farming the pit and you want to level stuff up stage by stage. Now, on the, the gear piece itself, you can see that we have dots here. You're only ever going to have four dots. However, the shape of the dot will change based on how many master working ranks that you have into it. So right now we have circles. I think we go to diamonds, and then it's something else after that. So again... It's a very, it seems like it's very complicated because everybody is used to, hey, I can just upgrade my, my gear right away. That's no longer there. We have tempering for that now. Tempering will allow you to get a massive power boost earlier in the game, all the way up until you get to this end point, okay? Like we've, we've um, tempered on all of our items here, which is great to get a huge power boost, which is awesome. And now we're in the pit stage. This is the end game. We're gonna start farming this and start upgrading our gear, okay? So to recap, guys, you need to, to unlock it. You need to complete a tier 47 Nightmare Dungeon. That will unlock the pit, okay? Then you'll come over here to, uh, was it Karagar, up to this town. And then you'll have the statue here, and you'll be able to start doing the Artificer tiers. The higher you go, the more rewards that you will get. Um, after that, it unlocks 
at the blacksmith for you to be able to start upgrading your gear. Again, masterworking, the items have to have all of the tempers or it can be a unique or an uber unique, all right? Now, one thing to note, okay? Tier 46, tier 47. One thing to note, the resources that you get from the pit, whoever opens the pit gets 100% of all the resources that drop at the end. Each additional party member, I believe, is 50% of what you would get. So as an example, if I get 10 of these and you're in my party and we and I opened it, I get 10, you get 5. And it then, of course, it scales as you continue to go deeper into the pit. So just keep that in mind. The pit is a little bit more geared towards solo play. However, if you're just blasting with your buddies, I don't think it matters if you're just going through like an hour or two of the pit. You're going to rack up a lot of resources. But just keep in mind, in the later tiers, you start to rack up, you know, 40, 50 of these, the you know, the rares or the blues or the legendaries as a solo or if you're the person that opens it. And, you know, you lose a lot by being just in a party. However, I think it's fine. But we'll do some testing on that for another video. But yeah, guys, this is how to unlock Masterworking and how to do it. I really do hope that this has helped you guys. Make sure to like the video. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys have any other questions about how to Masterwork in Diablo 4. I really do enjoy this system. I think it's awesome. However, I do think the cost, that 5 million gold, gold is a scarce resource. It is tough to get these unless you're just farming trees of Whispers, Tree of Whispers. Because it's like 3 to 6 million. I think have been the ranges that I've been getting. I got three once. I got six million once. Um, I think you can get upwards of eight million if you get a legendary like cash out of there. I'm not sure, but gold is really tough to get. But the cost for this is pretty pretty heavy on the gold. Um, but I love this system. I think it's great. It really allows a lot of customization. So again, guys, comment down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions um, about this. What do you guys think about master working? Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay gaming. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.